Hello, and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, uh, we've added in a new custom courtier, singular, and that's because he has four children. I'm using this guy as kind of a test. This is Titus. He has brought with him his children. He is searching for new kind of uh, safe land to be in and uh, safe land to raise his children. Now, this is kind of a test to see... The game's been really stable over the last couple of episodes. I want to see if putting in more people makes it instantly unstable. So, you know, just so you know where we're at with that. Anyway, 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 anyway. What else do we have going on? Yes, we were going to have a look at a mercenary company, but I remembered that I had previously asked if somebody wanted to be in charge of a mercenary company. And uh, I said just first person to tell me would get to be in charge of it. And uh, we're adding that person in next episode. So, you know, seems to fit in. So we'll do mercenary company then. Uh, Reaving, I said we'd do when we were 20. So two years till that. And we also owe a favor. Cool. Oh, we're also underneath the rock. I forgot that as well. That's interesting. I don't know what we're going to do about that. Um, probably hide forever. We weren't able to um, raid, were we? Like, they definitely said no raiding. No raiding. Cool. So, fine. We'll just let time move on then. See how things go. Raiders have arrived places. Oh, what was that? Uh, Egan decided to... Uh, exile uh, Fernie Goodbrother. What was the other part of it though? Uh, banished. He won the war. Oh, he won the war of uh, Oldwick Independence. He must have brought his dragons over there. Alright, cool. So Westeros is all nice and together. Aegon is in no wars, which means he might start clearing some. Cool. My liege, my mission to Pike has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of King Lorne the Eagle, I seem to have managed to make him understand what benevolent, peaceful ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. Your humble just cart, Sir Lannis. Perfect. Uh, I don't I don't remember ever sending our guy off to the Reach to improve relations with him. He's in Pike, isn't he? Yeah. Alright. Uh, Harren Hall usurped a title. Um, Bay of Crab Crabs usurped another title. Egan has bought favours from people. Cool, cool. Meredith Lydon was once again murdered. Okay. That seems a bit off. Uh, like, he, he's been murdered in every single one we've done. That's uh, a little bit, you know, that's a little bit suspect. Anyway, new spymaster. Well, I mean, Agor makes the most sense, right? He is, um, like, He's the most spy. He's also... Was he not the person that educated us? Was he not our regent? Yeah. Okay, he makes the most sense. He doesn't like us, but then... Let's be fair. Nobody likes us. So, Igor. Uh, why don't you go scheme in our capital? Cool. Uh, we still have heirs, right? Yeah, we have heirs. We have many heirs. In Lauren the Eagles, it led the Westlander Black Tide de Jure War over Black Tide on Lord Meldred Ironhand. So we're at war with... Uh, Aegon or oh no, it's just Black Tide. Uh, where is Black Tide? Oh, it's up here. Never mind. Yeah, okay, I can see that. That's a fair <coughs> war. Non-aggression pact between the Gardener and Lauren Lannister have been dissolved. This is no longer marriage ties because Lana Lannister died, and she was previously married to King Edmund of the Reach. Okay. We can righteously imprison Trentos. What are you doing? You try to kill Brandon Winston. Uh, Wilson. Sorry. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll probably imprison you. Oh, wait. Do we? Oh, we also need another sworn shield because we Meredith was our sworn shield. Now, I would like to talk about something which somebody pointed out, which is true, which is I keep sorting it by marshal and just giving it to the person with the highest marshal, right? Now, that isn't actually how the dual system worked. They, um, now, it does say there is dual skill here. This also is not how the dual system works. How the dual system works in this mod, if the previous information, like if the information from the previous patch still applies, is that it's a trait system. So say skilled fighter would give a, um, it would give a percentage weighting to things. And the actual dual skill mod um, multiplier there, I believe, is not the same unless they have changed it since the previous patch, which they might have changed it. But, like, they've got traits like Brave, I think, also adds into it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a trait which shouldn't have Dual Skill Multiplier on it by default. Uh, I think Deceitful adds to it. 
Oh, maybe they have added it in now. Okay, I stand corrected. Apologies, person in the comments. But yes, previously the dual skill multiplier did not matter, but I guess they have added it into some of these random traits. Okay, so we can use dual skill multiplier now. That's cool. Um, so it's eight. So we're looking for... Well, Lavaki is actually a custom courtier because she's the daughter of one. So that'll work. Is Roel Kenning a daughter? Or is she an actual person? Uh, she's too old to be a person. That, that doesn't sound right, but anyway. Yes. Where are we going? Uh, bodyguard, we will choose... It'll probably still be the person of the highest marshal. Like, one of the highest ones. So, eight doesn't seem bad. We'll go for Lavake. Uh, right. Righteously imprisoned. We will now righteously imprison this guy. He managed to avoid my guardsmen and has fled to the court of Lord Meldred. Not a great place to go. Because uh, it's about to be attacked. Right. New bodyguard, I guess. Um, we will go for... So, eight's kind of our baseline. Um... 11.25. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Uh, we can go on our reaving, but we're too uh, we're too young for what we're, when I arbitrary date for reaving was set, so that's fine. Uh, my liege, my mission to Pike so far would be a success during my visit to the court of King Lauren the Eagle. I seem to have managed to make him understand what benevolent and peaceful rule you are and he sends his regards. Oh, wait. This is because he took Pike for himself, isn't it? He took the Kingdom of the Iron Isles and took Pike? Yeah, he took Lordship of Pike as well. Okay. The world is a dangerous place. Devious plots are everywhere. Rumours have reached that people are conspiring to kill you. Not good. Um, we should also send our council member here. Where is it? You. You should be improving relations with our liege. Our actual liege. Not our liege's liege. As much as I'm happy that he likes me a tiny bit more, I'd prefer if our liege liked us. Uh, we can go into hiding. Would we go into hiding? I don't think so. No. It's still Drowned Man's the only one left? Yep. Jenna of Case has been released from Lord Florian of Case's dungeon. Cool. Uh, what have we got here? Invite to plot from Trentos. Really? The Great Lady Brella. Blessings upon you and your house. We would like you to back our plot to kill Brandon Wilson. Yeah, I'm going to imprison you, then I'm going to join your plot. No. Go away. I don't know what he has it. He has it in for Brandon. Uh, it's been brought to your attention that the large garden outside your castle is frankly a mess. Last week one of your courtiers got lost in that wilderness and the man did not emerge for two days. Tackling this garden problem head on could be an excellent project with which to improve your stewardship. Uh, no. That sounds like work. Um, to the elegant devil, Brella. Peace be with you. We would like you to boin join our plot to kill Garen uh, Lady Bright. No. But I'll keep that in mind. I don't think we're a plot type. We're kind of slothful, so... We probably just wouldn't be bothered with plots. I'm only imprisoning people because we set it as a precedent and I'm arbitrary, so... You know, I'm just... Uh, I can make choices as I like, I believe. So, we're arbitrarily interested in imprisoning people. Storm King Kristen of Stormlands declared Stormland of Reachman does your war over Firing Cross. Okay. Oh, looks like Tumbletown is also in that war. Cool. All sorts of fun stuff. A whole bunch of drums being exiled from the Harren Hall court. Wonder, wonder whether he caught them all. One of the local brothel keepers in Lordsport has recently died, leaving his business available for purchase. Many of the brothels need renovating and improving, but acquiring these whorehouses could prove to be a profitable investment. Yes, this sounds more like our thing. A brothel owner. We don't actually have to do any work ourselves, but we can own a building. Yes. It costs us 150 gold, it costs us prestige, temple vassals is like us, monthly piety, uh, and monthly wealth goes up. Interesting. Is there something... Uh, yeah, greedy's kind of where we're at there, but nothing else is really stopping us. Yeah, I will buy them. Perfect. So we're now getting more monthly wealth. King Tristan the Old, um, Darkland, has declared the second war of against the tyranny of King Aegon of Westeros on King Aegon of Westeros. Okay, so it doesn't look like he has the men to fight this, but maybe he has, like, a large alliance. Um, he's not in charge of anything, is he? It's all, like, independent people he's fighting. Yeah, it's independent people, so that's a bit of a problem. But he's fighting River Run, Southstone, Acorns Ridge, North Cracklaw, Dyerden, and Greatwick. 
Dire Den, interestingly, being the place that uh, Meredith, who just died, uh, had a claim on. Wait, was that inherited? I should check that. Um, Asha did not inherit. Wait, that's is that right? Yes, Asha did not inherit the claim. Cool. Well, we'll uh, keep going. The son was born to Esgred the Unfaithful and Theomore Winch, called Will. Cool. Well, how old are we? 19. So one more year and he will head off to uh, do a reaving. A son was born to Justin Benson and Ro Kenning named Dennis. Cool. Uh, Pike used a favour on Lord Tybalt of Lansfort to force them to join all their factions. What faction are you in? I cannot see. Okay. Just the car, Sir Lannis is doing a superb job. I'm having trouble with a town and a castle in Saltcliffe, and I shall of course send my Just Car Sir Lannis to try and increase the relation between them and us. But which one should I start with? Uh, obviously we're going to choose the castle as we have no towns. Seems simple enough for me. Uh, Peasants Revolt in uh, the Stormlands. Right. Uh, still in hiding, still drowned man. Ooh. I bounced up. Where, where's... Oh, there it is. Uh, Lord Meldwood Ironhand accepted King Lauren the Eagle's peace offer. So, uh, Stormlands won their war, and it looks like, uh, yes, looks like the Rock won their war as well. Cool. Righteously imprisoned Will Winch. What are you trying to do, Will Winch? You're just dishonorable? Um. No. I, like, I'm not going to imprison someone if I don't actually know what they've done. That's, this seems a bit off. A wealthy man from. Vazurgris, by the name of Malakwa Kedar, has arrived in Lordsport. Is he the guy who we're a rival of? Malakwa Zoriber. No, but it was the right first name. Or Malakwa? I don't know. He's seeking entertainment at one of your brothels. He has very exotic tastes, and promised to pay handsomely for your hospitality in satisfying them. Welcome, my esteemed S.O.C. Valerian friend. Oh, a chance we become close friends. We get a lot of gold. Cool. Did we become close friends? No. Cool. A daughter was born to Brandon Wilson and Zia Stonehouse named Hella. Hella Win. Hella Wilson. Right. Uh, we have won the siege. No, we haven't. But someone down here has won the siege of Ashford Castle, which is somewhere down there. Meldred as. Ransom some people. Drums are being released. Cool. Dale has been released from Storm Kings. Who's Dale? Oh, he's dead, actually. Okay. If there are gods, then why is the world filled with hardships? Okay. Um, the gods have a plan for everything and everyone. God is as clueless as I am. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll be cynical. That might fit us a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, we are a brothel owner, so we're probably not very religious. News from Harrenhal, my lady. A new dragon entered the world. Prince Vekar Targaryen has apparently successfully hatched one, and he is named the he-dragon Fafnar. So it's Prince, Acre, uh, Prince Vekar the Exile, who's been bouncing around forever, now has a dragon. That's pretty cool. Good for him. Yes, that's exactly what I thought about that. Uh, we should probably set him a special interest. Just, uh, if he has a dragon, you know. Uh, Vekar. I mean, he's also the son of Aegon, but it's worth knowing. I mean, he could start declaring dragon conquest now if he wanted. Any more righteous imprisonments? No, nope, no character actions. We could go on a reaving. How old are we? We're 20. Let's go on a reaving. There we go. Go on a reaving. Of course, the disputed lands are where we're going. We always go to the disputed lands. My liege, blessings upon you and your house. I've discovered a plot where Malus Blackfire seeks to kill Lady Brella of Saltcliffe. Really? Are we a sneaky person? We're not a very sneaky person. We're not very much of any of a person. Um, I guess there's not very much we can do about it. We can go on a reaving. Uh, Storm King Kristen of Stormlands accepted King Edmund of the Reach's peace offer. Uh, the Reach won, so the Reach kept their land. Cool. The men are ready, the long ships prepared. We now begin our journey across the narrow sea to pay the iron price. So, Will Winch is coming with us, Brella's coming with us, obviously, Justin Benson, Theomore Winch, 
Lord Manfred of Saltford and Mayford Mac. Cool. And our just car is our regent. Cool. We can keep that going. Anyone else we can write to the imprison? No. We'll winch. We'll, we'll find out whether we want to imprison him uh, while we're out on this journey. We're at... Uh, we are at rest. After a day of much pillage and raping, where I showed I am clearly the most daring of the Ironborn who can kill, plunder, and drink the most. Manfred Ironfoot disagrees, however, and challenges me to her finger dance to prove my manliness. Um... I guess I accept. It's a little bit odd, but okay. Perhaps my decision to accept Manfred Ironfoot's challenge was not wise. The axes flew to and fro, slowly more assured and quicker. I had to give in after losing some fingers for fear of losing my life. Ooh, chance being maimed. No maim, no wounded. Fantastic. So Lannis has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in the aid of Saltcliffe. It would be seen as right an honourable course to reward him with certain incomes and grants, as to foster greater loyalty. Um, well, We're not paying him money, so I guess we'll owe him a favour. Which is worrying that we now owe two people favours. King Lauren the Eagle has declared the Westlander Great Wick de Jure War over Great Wick on Lord Euron of Great Wick. Cool. Uh, Algentine has died of natural death. She was married to Tristan, who used to be in charge of Westeros. Malus Blackfire died from a grievous uh, disfigurement. Thank the gods, he's not going to kill us. Um, Artemis of Weeping Way, uh, Peasants Vault, has declared the Peasants Vault for Weeping Way. Yes, he's declared on this, the north, basically. Um, a son was born to Mayford Mack and Joan L. Spar named Christopher Mack. Okay. As you travel by carriage on a road in Salt Cliff, you pass by what appears to be an old shuttered inn. The uh, sight of it fills you with questions. What forced them to close down? Could you do a better job than the previous owners? Perhaps this would be a golden opportunity to improve your stewardship. Definitely, we'll buy an inn. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, Stefan of Greenshield, Peasant's Revolt, is the Peasant's Revolt for Greenshield on King Edmund of the Reach. Did in command happen to us? Did we? Where are we in command? We're leading uh, troops in Saltcliffe. Oh. Yes, we are, because Rhonda's host is here. Who are Rhonda? Who's Rhonda? Rhonda has a weak claim on the Lordship of Seaskin Point. Ah, uh, she's just raiding us for loot. Fantastic. In command is no longer affecting us. The vagrants in your new inn have been affected, the holes in the roof have been patched, and the whole building has been thoroughly aired out to cleanse it of in cleanse it of the most offensive odours. New staff have been hired, and the time has come for you to decide on the name for your inn. Um I don't know. How about the drunken squire? Lord Mace of Stonebridge has declared Lord Mace of Stonebridge's war for the Reach on King Edmund of the Reach. So uh, he is also a gardener, so he is trying to take over the Reach because he has, he has a claim on it. <laughs> Janella died of an infected wound. She was married to uh, Torrin Stark. A daughter was born to Lindsay, son of Dolph, an Asha Iron Weaver named Zia. Cool. King Kyle of the Mountain and Vale has transferred vassalage. Brandon Wilson died under suspicious circumstances. I wonder who killed him. Could it be Trentos? The first who's been trying to kill him for ages. Uh, we also got Theomar Winch, who we could imprison as dishonorable, but I'd rather not, because I still don't know what the Winches have done. Um, a raven arrived from the Sistel. We should rejoice as winter is coming to an end. So Cedric of Pendrick Hills has usurped the title Lordship of Pink Maiden from Lord Theomar of Aikens Ridge. Uh, and another castle. Things are very busy at your new inn. With everyone preparing for the grand opening night, guests will be able to sample turnips for free, but if you added a generous amount of salt to them, people might become more thirsty and meat sales would increase. Um, I believe the correct there is a correct answer, and the correct answer is 20% salt. Like, I believe that one's just a correct, there is a correct answer. Uh, Lord Master Siri of Northfields has usurped the city of Northfields from someone else. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Kyle Aaron transferred the vassal contract from pe around from people. I've never been overly fond of Theomar Winch, and this voyage has done not to help that. Our frantic race to rape and pillage more than the other, to slay more men and capture more salt wives, has fueled a bitter rivalry that will endure well after the reaving is done. He's insufferable. 
We have a reason to imprison him, which might be nice. Uh, oh, the council doesn't want me to imprison him, but the council are fine for imprisoning this guy. Interesting. He's a known murderer. You know what? Deamore, when you come back, we'll imprison you. Your inn will soon be open to the public, but one last detail demands your attention before opening night. Some form uh, of act or spectacle will be needed to uh, be booked to keep the guests around. After scouring the lands for what passes for entertainment, you conclude that the following options are available to you. Which one's cheapest? A wild ass that allegedly speaks and recites poetry. Definitely. Definitely. Bartonus accepted the peace offer. I've never been overly fond of Will Winch, and this voyage has done nothing not to help that. Our frantic race to rape and pillage more than the other, to slay more men, to capture more salt wives, has fueled a bitter rivalry that will endure well after the reaving is done. Okay, cool. We've got a couple of people to imprison when we get back. Um, people are making factions. The wild ass sat on the ground on the grand stage of your inn for the better part of an hour, and although it relieved itself twice on the wood floor, no speech or poetry was forthcoming. To your horror, the agitated animal then ran amok amongst the audience, resulting in fleeing customers and four broken tables. They, they told me it spoke, I swear. The salt trick really seemed to have worked. Who would have thought? The thirst of your guest seems unquenchable and the meat sales exceeded expectations. I made a nice little profit. The opening night of your inn has concluded, and the time has come for you to move on from this venture and to resume your other duties. Whatever else can be said, you have learned many valuable lessons on running a business, a buyer is ready to take the inn off your hands, and a tidy little profit for you. It was nice while it lasted, so we got some stewardship, we got some money. Fantastic. And, I think, oh, Kate, um, King Kyle of Mountain Vale to the Veilman claim on Saint Saltpan's War on uh, King Aegon of Westeros. Cool. I think this is a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.